Hello and welcome to another episode of Learning by Doing, where you get to watch a real data scientist struggle through some pandas questions. Uh, I know that going through these questions with my students has always been helpful before. They get to see me debug things, they get to see me stumble over things. So this is the kind of uh, true, like real representative learning that I think can really help. Um, I think it's the number one best way to do it, go through these things yourself. Uh, that's gonna be the number one way to learn. Uh, but then if watching someone else do these types of things can also be super helpful. It's definitely much better than just watching a lecture. So with no further ado, let's dive right in. So we're part of the time series investor fund flow of funds in the US. So we've got some cool data, it reminds me of my Wall Street days. Um, so we're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna get, get going here. Um, so I'll leave the link to the exercises in the description below. Um, so this is a pandas exercise. So we're just gonna go ahead and import pandas. We'll assume that that's the thing that we'll need to do. Um, so we're gonna import data from this address. So I hope this is not a massive piece of data. No, it's not. Uh, and it's comp separated. Sweet. So this will be super easy. So we're gonna do pd.read uh, csv. Uh, and then we're just gonna find this URL, right? So copy this. So uh, URL equals this, perfect, URL, df, great. Um, assign it to a variable called, okay, great. We've already assigned it to a variable. Um, what is the frequency of the data set? Let's check it out. Um, looks to be weekly. So five, 12, 19, 26. So definitely weekly. Um, how can you, well, I just looked at it. So how could you sort of programmatically tell that? Don't worry about that. I mean, you could technically tell that just by doing the date diff. So turning it into dates, looking at the date diff, seeing what it is. Total equity, uh, interesting. Uh, set the date column as the index. Um, okay, so we will just do this, dot set index, um, and it's just date. Uh, set index, uh, and it's just date. Very, very simple. Uh, I'm even just gonna do this in place already. Uh, what is the type of the index? df.index, you can literally just look at it like this and we'll tell you what the type is down here. Uh, it's a type object. Um, I believe you can just do dtype as well. Um, and yeah, type object. Uh, set the index to a date time index type. Perfect. So uh, let's just do pd dot uh, to uh, date time really simple df dot index um, and then let's just reassign it uh, sweet so uh, if we go above df dot index dot d type uh, type oh. uh, this will go ahead so this is our um, daytime index uh, down to now seconds uh, change the frequency to monthly sum the values and assign it to monthly. Okay, so we've got monthly and this will equal to df.resample. Um, we wanna resample on a monthly basis and we want to take the sum of the values. Uh, and we can check this out. So, okay, we've got a lot of nice, easy questions so far. So where's, where's, the, where's the hard ones? Resample, your best friend when it comes to time series stuff. I might do an entire little tutorial on time series uh, functions in pandas. I've not done that tutorial yet, but I might. Okay, so you've done it in a resampled monthly. Oh, interesting. Okay, so notice that's filled uh, the data frame with months that don't have any data uh, with NANs. So let's drop these rows. Okay, so let's check this out here. Um, so it actually technically uh, went ahead and did this, it, it put zeros here instead of NANs. Um, and I believe this is because of something in resample. So let's go ahead and maybe change this fill strategy. Um, fill method, okay. Let's see what fill method has to say. Um, fill method, uh, use for upsampling, this is deprecated. Okay, great. So let's just call this x, um, and then let's go ahead and do x.sum um, method sum min count. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there's a, so it doesn't have, um, min count zero. Um, 
what if I change this oh, this min count dot min count to be one? What would this do? Okay, great. Um, so what this basically did was it said that, hey, if there's no data in this thing, uh, in this month at all, I, I just need, I gotta, I've got to make it nan. Um, so this, this will sort of save us a lot of time by just sort of making these things nan. So great. Uh, there's probably different ways to do this. But as you can see, if you're sort of doing this on the fly, you're just trying to figure it out from the code itself, this can be a really helpful way to do it. So let's go ahead and make this min count. Um, min count equals one. Perfect. Sweet. Okay, so let's drop these rows. So monthly dot uh, drop in a. Um, there's a couple of things. So how, uh, right? So do you want to drop? So first, um, which axis do you want to drop over? So we can change the axis to what is this? Uh, the index, right? Equals index. I kind of wish it just said rows. Index kind of means rows. Um, and then the how in this case, we want to drop the row if all of its data is null. So let's go ahead and say how goes equals all. Um, cool. And you can see it basically dropped these rows. Um, and is there an in place? Uh, there is. Uh, so let's do in place equals uh, true. Great. Um, good. Now we have the monthly data. Now let's change it to yearly. Okay. Super simple. So let's go ahead and um, we've got the monthly data. Let's change it to yearly. Uh, let's do uh, monthly dot resample. You guys should know this. Really simple here. Resample um, annually. It's not why. Why? Um, so resample dot sum as we were doing before. Great. So now we've got the data. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see here as well that like, hey, we don't actually know which things were dropped. Uh, but you know, this is a quick and dirty way to go uh, to already get it up to yearly data. Great. Okay, well, if you liked that, if you enjoyed it, I know this wasn't, I, I struggled through a lot of these. This one I didn't struggle through. So if you want to watch one of those, just keep watching the series. Otherwise, I really appreciate your support. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.